Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a palette bingo and I am going to do it with a feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics I think I only used this once on YouTube, it was my first impression to do more with this so today I'm doing a palette bingo, I said it it was a long time ago I did a palette bingo and I really want to use this so this is 12 shades so we're going to see which shades we are going to use. So I am going into random.org. So I think I will pick five colors. So we generate number nine. And number nine is Visteria, this pink one. I'm pretty sure I've used this before. I will swatch this on my arm. The next shade is five so that is pack leader i have also used this one and we're going to have like all the colors i used in my first impression that will be fun next one is number eight the yellow one i also used this in my first impression number 12 oh hushera that was not the correct Hushira. I haven't used this one at least. That looks amazing. And the last one, I really hope. <sighs> okay, and then we got Wolfing. I have used this as well. Thank you, random.org. Okay, so the colors I got is. Uh, yeah, yeah, not a good swatch, I know. So the colors I got is these, um, three of the colors, four of the colors I've already used in my first impression, I'm pretty sure. That feels a little bit meh, but I have to do with that. So I got Wolfing up here, Pack Leader, Night Eyes, Visteria and this one. So I don't want to do anything that I did in my first impression and I don't want to do anything that I have recently done okay I have to think a little bit about this and then we come back and we start with this makeup okay so I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do I will start with wolfing this one and put it in my crease because I just want that shade out of the way but I like this shade but it's not maybe the most fun shade so I just put it in my crease and I don't want to take it the whole way in or a little bit <laughs> but concentrate on the outer corner and then I think I will try to take night eyes this yellow one and just have it a little bit in my inner corner not too much though just a little yellow in here and I like this yellow I think this is a really good yellow it fades a little bit but it's not hard to work with and then I will go in with, with Visteria this one and put it on my outer corner on my Lid. I can't remember if I used this. I think I used this underneath my eyes. But I don't think I used it on my lid. I am not sure. But this is such a nice pink. Still don't know if this was the right way to go with the shades I got. I don't think this crease was the best solution. I think I'll take some of Wisteria on my crease brush and have it up here as well. Yeah, I think that was a little bit better. Maybe I should have taken a smaller brush. What's done is done. So, like that, and I think I'll just pack on some more and smudge it up. I 
Okay, and then for my inner corner, I will go in with this green one, and I really hope that this will stick to my eyeshadow base. I had no troubles at all with the pink shimmer, so I hope that this will stick. It does stick, but I think this would have been cool to spray. It has like gold specks in it, so I try to take them up on the yellow, so it's better blend. And then I will go in with the brush I had, the pink, and try to smudge this. Try to blend them a little bit better together. And pink and green is maybe not the best to mix, but it is what it is now. Okay, I love the shimmers. I like, I love, I think this palette is better than the Dragon Shot palette. And I have ordered the Whale Song palette, Whale palette, Whale Song. And I really hope that it's more like this one and not like Dragon Child. Because it, if it is like Dragon Child, then I can't use my normal techniques. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a Free Looks 1 palette with the Dragon Child palette and a long review, so I can leave it up here. And I talked about some troubles I had with that palette, and um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, check that video out. Okay, so I actually think I like this. Um, maybe the blend is not perfect between these. It feels like the green got stuck a little bit, so it is a harsh line. If that makes any sense. But if I go back and forward, back and forth. I just have to leave this, but maybe, maybe if I take a clean brush. If I have any clean brushes, that's the next step. Maybe this is clean. Now it is. Okay, so maybe this works. So I think I will do the other eye off cam. I don't, I have started to do this now. I don't know if you, what you think about it, but it feels like when I'm doing my other eye, I am just babbling or don't saying, don't say anything. And it feels like it's just so much empty space in my videos. So I will fix the other eye off cam, take away the fallouts fix my base, my brows, and then we'll come back. And if you don't like this, if you want me to do both eyes on cam, I can fix it. But I don't want my palette bingos or my other like first impressions to be like a good read with me. And it feels sometimes they are like that. And I don't want that. So I will fix that cam, cam eye of Jesus Christ. I will fix my other eye off cam fix the base, the brows, and then we'll be back and we will do the under eyes and I have only one color left I have on this one but I'm not going to take it on my whole lower lash I will see what I want to do because I am not really sure right now so I will fix everything and then I will come back okay so I will take this area and put it on my lower lash and I think I will have it the whole way. 
so something like that and now I have one shade left pack leader and I will pack the pack leader in my inner corner uh, so I take my a little pinky and I hope that this is not too dark And this did not go as planned. Okay, it got pretty uneven with my finger. So I will take a brush and I will spray my brush. And I really hope that this is not too dark to have in my inner corner because now I'm doing it. So I think it worked. It was not maybe the best decision ever. But it was not the worst decision ever, so I am okay with this. I just don't like, I have to take the brush where I had the green. And smudge these together a little bit better, so I take a little bit of green. Because I want this inner corner to like... So the pink goes all the way around the eye. So like this. And I will take a pen in my waterline and I will of course take boots from Colourpop. I will put on mascara and then I put on some lips and then I will be back with the finished result of this palette bingo. So this is the finished look and for lips I took November Ultra Satin Lip from Colourpop. I really like this Ultra Satin Lip. I wish I got more for my low buy. So this is my finished look with my palette bingo with a feral palette and <laughs> I think okay I want to use some of the other shades soon because now I have used like the same shades all the time on my channel at least and yeah I am pretty happy with this look but right now I am more into dark darker looks but I like it and I hope you like this video and I will try to do more palette bingos I think I'll try to do like both Betty Jean and Annette they use like two palettes in the palette bingo I want to try that so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!